Alright, gonna give a big expose of uh, Black Lives Matter. Or I call it Black Lives Matter. They're a ultra-racist movement. They uh, hate white people. They're, they are, um, like this article says, all about hate. So I'm going to read you these articles exposing the ultra-racist um, fascist movement that is Black Lives Matter. Face fact, Black Lives Matter is all about hate. Very, very true. The agenda is so plain for all to see. Cop killing. When another two police officers shot the Black Lives Matter riot in Louisville on Wednesday, it's time to lift the veil on the whole movement. It's a haven for unrepentant cop killers. Absolutely. There, these aren't isolated incidents. There have been fewer than two weeks since supposedly peaceful BLM radicals chanted, We hope they die, while blocking the entrance to a hospital where two Los Angeles County Sheriff deputies were go undergoing life saving surgery. An assailant had walked up to their patrol vehicle and opened fire from a point blank uh, range without provocation. You see, these black supremacist groups, they're terrorists. You know? Black Lives Matter is a fascist, Marxist, Leninist terrorist group. You know, and they should, they should be condemned by any sane people. Uh, and Black Lives Matter is filled with hypocrisy, too. The racism of Black Lives Matter. The fascism of Black Lives Matter. The communism of Black Lives Matter. And just the pharisaical hypocrisy of these black supremacists over at Black Lives Matter. Those chilling words echo the rhetoric we hear from BLM founders and members who make clear their prime objective of BLM is kill cops. Up until now, this has been kept well under the wraps to deceive major corporations, professional sports and leagues, as well as countless well-meaning Americans. Yeah. It's kind of funny because they asked Trump to condemn, you know, white supremacists, but yet, you know, they won't condemn black supremacists like the Black Panthers, the new Black Panthers, uh, and Black Lives Matter, basically. And no, I'm not a white supremacist. I'm a white separatist. I do believe in racial separation, but I'm not a Nazi or anything like that. Um, Nazism is just a creation of... It, it's just communism repackaged. National Socialism, Nazism, it's all just communism repackaged. So, it's just Marxism, communism, in a different form, essentially. Uh, but Nazism is just simply um, communism, but kind of like a different ver I'll just say it's communism, but a different version of it. I'll say it that way. They have a lot of similarities. You know, I'm not going to go too much into that. Joe Biden has been make has made propagating has been propagating this movement's lies as the centerpiece of his pre presidential campaign, waiting months before condemning the wanton violence perpetrated perpetrated by BLM. Um, staff members on the Joe Biden campaign contributed money to secure the release of rioters charged with crimes. Meanwhile, the progressive Democratic prosecutors refused to um, even charge some of the worst rioters. Sorry. It's adjusting my headphones. Some people uh, try to separate BLM, the organization, from the movement that goes by the same name, but at most they are two sides of the same coin. From the start, both the organization and the movement, BLM writ large, have been about hatred and violence that extends beyond police and includes all white people and all blacks who are conservative in, and the United States of America. Now obviously America is a wicked nation, I'm not you know, being pro-America. Um, America is a disgusting, wicked nation, and you know, I, I you know I would never say God bless America. I mean, I'm I'm Canadian, which Canada is even worse in many ways. But in my opinion, it's just blasphemy and just you know blasphemy to God to say God bless America, because God will not bless a nation like America that has the moral decadence, uh, just the socialism and everything like that. God will not bless America, and to say to say God bless America. It's like saying God bless, God bless, you know, the, the Vatican, or God bless, you know, Babylon, which I don't believe America is Babylon, so don't go there. Babylon is obviously the Roman Catholic Church. Um, but no, I would never say God bless America. To me, it's blasphemous to say God bless America, blessing a wicked nation like America. Uh, we saw in 2014 when BLM first attained national prominence, four months after anti-police rioting, a man pledged revenge for Michael Brown and Eric Garner traveled to New York City, stuck a pistol through the window of a squad car, and opened fire. Detectives Raphael Ramos and Wenjin Liu, Liu died on the scene. You know? And I do agree, police brutality is definitely a problem, but Black Lives Matter is just a domestic terrorist group. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. 
I mourned the officers like the rest of New York did, and I even met with uh, Ramos and the Lou families. I was a guest. I re 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 reiterated my call for politicians to abandon their reckless, reckless anti-police rhetoric. Maybe I suggested they should spend more time more, more time sorry spend the next four months not talking about police hatred, but talking about what they're going to do about bringing down crime in the community. You know, most of these communities, and it's kind of funny because some of these BLM, you know black supremacist terrorists want gun control well in cities like chicago they have the, the heaviest gun control laws but yet the most crime chicago i think it's chicago and i think detroit as well uh they're actually examples of why gun control laws do not work at all in fact gun control laws only make life more dangerous for law-abiding citizens you know because what so we're gonna we're gonna make it hard to get guns do you think criminals care about following the law they're gonna get they're gonna get guns either way. So, gun control laws only make life more dangerous for law-abiding citizens. You know, Chicago and Detroit are proof of that. They have the hardest gun laws, and yet they have the most crime, the most gun violence. So, gun control and gun control is just a fir- it's just the first step to communism. Basically, gun control, fascist Nazi Germany banned guns, Soviet Russia banned guns. You know, I guarantee you there's no gun rights in North Korea or China. So, anyone who supports gun control is getting into the treacherous waters of fascism and communism. But um, not 19 months later, a man opened fire at a BLM protest in Dallas, murdering five officers. BLM devout, disavowed responsibility, but the killer had deep links to the movement's racial radical ideology, stating he wanted to kill these kill white people, especially white officers. BLM supporters can't didn't stop chanting, chanting, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, in the aftermath either. See, again, I'm surprised why there's no, not more condemnation of these black supremacist Nazis, basically these black supremacists who are just preaching Nazism, just preaching um, communism. Uh, BLM counts a legion of journalists who believe BLM will help advance a progressive agenda, but they will never admit that, that violence against the police isn't an unfortunate outgrowth of the BLM movement, but the central point. Absolutely true. You know? That's why there have been some you know, counterattacks against Black Lives Matter, meaning people, you know, doing terrorist attacks on Black Lives Matter, which, you know, I wouldn't be for that, but at the same time, you know, it's response to these Black Lives Matter terrorists who are just, just a blight on society. Black Lives Matter isn't about black lives. It ignores the 8,000 to 9,000 black lives taken by other blacks every year in minority communities across the nation. Those black lives and the lives of African American police officers don't matter. Again, the hypocrisy of these black supremacists over at Black Lives Matter. You know, what about the black babies that are aborted? You know, why aren't they protesting abortion clinics? You know, hypocrisy. They, they're they not for black lives, they're just for anti-police. And again, I do believe in racial separation. I believe that, uh, because Genesis 10, Genesis 11, Deuteronomy 32, Acts 17, 29, you know, all preach uh, racial separation. So, it is scriptural, but, uh, yeah, why aren't they protesting the abortion clinic? Why aren't they uh, protesting the black-on-black crime? So it's, you know, they're hypocrites. Black Lives Matter isn't about holding police accountable, that and that isn't a good faith call for a re- for reasonable reform. Uh, if we had a functioning mainstream media, this would be common knowledge by now. Instead, people are listening to the real m- nature of BLM by watching protesters scream, we hope they die, outside a hospital where two cops are fighting for their lives. You know, I heard about one instance where this, I guess this guy was a, a member of the Ku Klux Klan and he actually drove his car right into the BLM protesters. You know, and you know, you can't get mad at them for doing that because when they're blocking the road, they're just basically making innocent people suffer because they're blocking the road, they can't get to where they need to go. You know, if that was me, you better bet I would drive through them. If I was, if I was driving and some BLM protesters were blocking the road so I couldn't get where I needed to go, yeah, I'd hit the gas and I'd go forward and run them over, you know? They can't just block the public road and expect nothing to happen. So I would do the same thing. I would, I'd hit the gas and run them over. You know? It's what a reasonable person would do. Because they block the road. They, they, I mean, they shouldn't be on the road in the first place. So, hit the gas, full speed, run them over. Maybe they'll stop doing it then. You know? Um, the time has come for the face of facts. If you ever supported Black Lives Matter, then you were either a left-wing radical or you got duped. There is no... Uh, shame in the latter, but by design, the relentless, the uh, relentless, or sorry, repeated cry of Black Lives Matter is an unassailable 
not best at reading on a computer. Uh, moral tourism calculated to bully people into supporting a radical revolutionary anti-order movement. I, I do find it really ironic how a lot of these Antifa, you know, communists, they support communism and they support anarchism. Um, okay, try doing what you do over in China or North Korea and see how long you last. You know, try riding, you know, BLM founded by Marxists, try, you know, Mark, Nazi, Mar you know, because Nazism is just Marxism, but, uh, Try doing this, try doing your little riots over in North Korea or China, and see what happens. Believe me, you'll see what real police brutality is like. But none of these support communism, but, you know, support fascist communism, Nazi communism. Uh, the good news, that it isn't too late to make the right decision. You can be a good person who desires racism, and or who, who decries racism, and condemns police misconduct, yet still reject a violent left-wing radicalism, and unequiv and, yeah, ra radicalism unequivocally. You can stand for the safety of human dignity of black people and for all people, and simultaneously stand with the police officers who maintain law and order. The solution to all this would just be racial separation. You know? Just separate the races. It's biblical, and it works. Why do you think that in the prison, why do you think they separate in the prison? You know, it's natural. Why do you think there's black areas and white areas? Because they separate. It's not racist, it's just fact. You know? I'm not saying we should hate other races, I'm just saying separate them. You know, when the uh, two Jesuit lawyers overturned the anti miscegenation laws, you know, there were blacks that protested the overturning. It wasn't just whites that opposed it. There were plenty, you know, the, obviously I'm not supportive of the whole Nation of Islam, they're a black supremacist cult, but um, the Nation of Islam, they're a black organization, they opposed, they, they were against interracial marriage and still are. So there are blacks that oppose the thing too, of interracial marriage. And, uh, racial integration. It starts but with rejecting BLM. And also, I think that the new Black Panthers, they, they oppose it as well. You know, to their, you know they're, they're obviously wrong, but they, to their credit, they are against interracial marriage and racial integration because, you know, they understand, obviously, that it leads to problems. It starts with, with rejecting BLM and every politician who has been cynical enough to enable uh, radical forces intent on tearing this country apart. When you see Black Lives Matter, realize that they are dedicated to killing cops. Too much blood is being spilled already, it has to stop. Exactly. Next article. Um, it says, Black Lives Matter has been linked to 91% of riots over three months, study finds. Oh, but they're, they're a wonderful group. They're fighting racism. No, they're starting riots. You know? The Black Lives Matter movement is linked to more than 9 in 10 riots across the country, according to a recent study. The U.S. experienced uh, 637 riots between May 26 and September 12th, and 91% of those riots were linked to, black, the, to the Black Lives Matter movement, according to the U.S. Crisis, Crisis Monitor, a joint project and the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project in the Bridging uh, Divides Initiative in Princeton University. 49 states, not counting Washington, D.C., experienced riots during that time period. The study found California led the nation with 86 riots during that time, closely followed by Oregon with 79 riots. During that time period, the data showed, and it talks about something about capitalism has to be abolished. Here's the thing, capitalism has its problems. I'm not a capitalist, you know. Capitalism is obviously condemned in scripture, the money-hungry stuff. But the solution to the problem of capitalism is not communism. You know, I mean, both of them are equally bad. I mean, both of them are bad. You know, I mean, capitalism does have some good sides to it. You know, I'm not like a full on capitalist, but it does have some good things to it. But there are problems with capitalism. But the answer to the problems of capitalism is not communism. You know, it's, it's like saying, you know, hey, it's like pick your poison. Do you want capitalism, communism or fascism? I don't want any of them. You know, I don't want to pick my poison. 7% uh, of Black Lives Matter linked events have turned violent according to the data. The project defined riots as demonstrations, demonstrations, protests, you know, uh, which any demonstrators engage in violently disruptive or uh, destructive acts, e.g. violence, looting, vandalism, as well as mob violence, which violent groups target other individuals, property, businesses, or other groups, you know. And again, you know, this is why gun control does not work, because if you have a gun, how are you going to defend your business from these, these lunatics who are rioting in, in uh, the black supremacist, fascist, mu Nazi, Marxist cult of Black Lives Matter? How are you going to defend yourself? You know, there was that couple who was, who was toting, had those guns, and these, these rioters, they actually, you know, you know they, they, they were put on trial for that or whatever, but 
they had guns and they told the rioters, basically get off our property, we're gonna shoot you. They had guns and guess what? The rioters left. You know? Again, this is why gun control laws only make life more dangerous. It does not work. It's the first step to Nazism and fascism. Which, you know, Nazism and communism, again, one and the same. Black Lives Matter linked events were defined as demonstrations that have local BLM group involved. When the main issue of the demonstration concerns the police killing a specific black person, e.g. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, you know, George Floyd was a criminal, by the way. George Floyd has been in and out of jail. And by the way, call me crazy, but I don't believe they actually killed him. You know, try actually having someone put their, their knee on your neck. It doesn't suffocate somebody. I, I know somebody who did that. They, say, they said they were able to breathe just fine. It doesn't kill people. And why do you think their, his funeral was a closed casket funeral? Why do you think all the photos where it was open were always at the back of the casket? Why? Because he ain't because he's not in the casket. That's why. He's still alive. They faked it. So, you know, before you call me a conspiracy monger, it's just look at the facts. Okay? Why would they have a closed casket funeral? Because he ain't in the casket. You know? You know, if 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 he was can't breathe, why was he able to say, Hey, I can't breathe? I thought you can't talk when you can't breathe. Uh, when the main issue of the demonstration concerns police brutality against black people in general, or when the demonstration is is in solidarity with the movement in the USA against police brutality against, yeah, against black people, Black Lives Matter Global Network, the national aim of Black Lives Matter, has seen an explosion in financial support from celebrities and large corporations. Yeah, who are duped into their Nazi Marxist black supremacist agenda, which also has ties to the Jesuits too. I'm just Add that in there. Since George Floyd died after a Minneapolis police officer knelt knelt his neck for him, for, or uh, on his neck for more than eight minutes, according to a video of, of the May 25th incident. You know, Black Lives Matter Chicago organizer Ariel Atkins last month equated looting with reparations. Okay, so you're gonna steal to get your reparations, and you know, this whole thing of reparations. You know, I don't want to come off as racist, but they have their rights. What more do they want? You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to sound racist, but you know, you're not, I, I know some nice. I actually do know a lot of nice black people, but I had blacks say, "Yeah, you know, they got their rights." So, like, why do you want reparations? And how how are you going to determine who gets reparations? Because if you're going to give reparations for slavery, how do you determine that? How do you determine who is descended from slaves? And figure out who who is a family line and you know, all this other stuff. It's hard. You know, it won't it won't be possible. To, to give reparations. It's a ridiculous, foolish thing to suggest, oh, we need reparations, when they already have their rights. You know? I don't care if someone desires to loot um, a Gucci or Macy's or a Nike store, because that makes sure because it, that makes sure that person eats, Atkins said. That makes sure that person has clothes, that is reparations. So you can just steal things, basically, to get your reparations. So they're, they're admitting to being criminals. They're admitting to being a criminal organization. Black Lives Matter New York leader Hawk Newsom downplayed the rioting in an April interview with Fox News. I think it's a tool of white supremacy, which I'm not a white supremacist, by the way. I'll just point that in there. It's a tool of white supremacy to say, if you want your freedom, then you get it by protesting peacefully. Yeah, I'll say this. It's a tool of black supremacy to go after cops and riot. I'll just put that out there. And again, no, I'm not a white supremacist. I'm not a neo-Nazi. Um, again, Nazism is just Marxism repackaged. And um, I'm a white separatist. I'm just not a white supremacist. Okay? I just believe in separation. I don't believe in supremacy. I'm not, you know, with the alt-right or that kind of stuff. The alt-right is, is controlled by the Jesuits. The Nazis are just controlled by the Jesuits. So, just thought I'd point that out. In our interview with Fox News, June uh, Newsom said, I don't condone nor can I condemn the rioting. Okay? very broad statement. Black Lives Matter Global Network did not return a request for comment. And here's another funny one. Prominent Indiana Black Lives Matter activist admits lying about being black. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but basically you have a white person who pretends to be black and then, you know, gets is, admits to lying. Just shows how much these, these black supremacists lie. And then you got this thing teaming up with China. Uh probably just due to communism and everything, but, you know, you get the picture. This whole Black Lives Matter movement, it's a movement of, of Nazi Marxists, they're just black supremacist Marxists. So, 
Uh, don't be deceived by this movement. Uh, if you're a Christian, you ought not ought to not be supporting this movement. Um, they're wicked. They're racist, and they behave a lot like Nazis. Because again, in Marxism is just Nazism. So, uh, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.